So what type of food is this? Like Filipino food. Filipino. So it's like traditional. Like yeah, I heard this that, is like the best like traditional around this like. Is the authentic Filipino food. Yeah. Yeah. Sick. Well, I'm excited. I never had Filipino food, You've so. Never had me and my girlfriend are gonna try it today. I had to order a little bit of everything, you know? I didn't know what's good. Everything was good. Okay, well that's good yeah. to hear. I just kind of went down the list. I just said a little bit of that. Uh... Oh, I'm sure we will, yeah. <laughs> well guys, I think that's as traditional as it gets. Now let's go eat. <laughs> what is good, Marvel Squad? And welcome back to our channel. So today is a really exciting video, as you can see. We got traditional Filipinian, Filip so, Filipino. I just want to say a disclaimer before we start this video. We really don't know what we're talking about when it comes to yes. this food and the names of the food. It's Filipino. I know it, that's how you, how you pronounce it. Filipino. Okay. So the closest Filipino place was 40 minutes away. They didn't yes. deliver. So we had to drive 40 minutes to pick up basically the whole menu. Yeah, we did. And we then 40 we minutes back. Way. Yeah. So it was worth it. But I heard Filipino food is so good. And we are going to be trying it for the first time in this video and sharing our thoughts. Us being and just trying literally the culture. most basic Americans you can get. I just honestly, I feel like it's fun trying different culture foods because it's kind of like different and you know we get to kind of see what they eat and what like Ooh. oh what is that salsa oh something salsa that looks fire anyways keep going so yeah it's gonna be really exciting and i the when we were looking at the menu oh my gosh it even smells amazing it was so hard not to just go in and eat on the way home but i knew we needed to get our taste testing done here so before we do anything else we did get a dessert and the name of this dessert is called Halo Halo. She said it means like like everything, everything, something like that. Sorry if we get it wrong, but Halo Halo basically means they put everything in this one little This is what it looks like. Container. There's like flan ice cream. Looks like some candy. I don't know, the bottom kind of freaks bottom. me out a little bit, like the white ones. They kind of look like maggots. I don't know. What it I does think of look it. like maggots. Doesn't it? But well, we gotta eat one. We gotta try it. How do you even eat this? Because it's like well, overflowing. Open, just open the, open the lid up. It's gonna come off. It's literally taller than the lid. Oh. Okay, this could get dangerous, guys. It might just, oh, did it start leaking? It's okay. It's going for a good cause. They kind of melted a little bit in the it car. It did melt. But it's okay. Once again, we were 40 minutes away, so we did what we could. So me and Ryan actually tried so this in the car and it was so freaking it good. It tastes like Rice Krispie Treats. Mm-hmm. It tastes like um the Rice Krispie Treats cereal, mm. right? Mm. I could use another one. They should put like five of those in there. So what are you eating right now? I think that's ice cream, right? I think that purple sauce flan. What's flan? Flan is like a big Hispanic dessert too. Mm. When I was in Spanish class back in the day, we had some flan. Mm. I think that's what that is. It's pretty good. It's different. Well, that's weird. It's different, but it's good. That's weird. Let me take the ice cream though. I want to. I want to try this. The ice it's cream fire. is really good. This is ice. This is literally. Oh, there's shaved ice in there too. Oh yeah. That's what yeah. they said. Remember, they put shaved ice in there. That's what that is. Oh, that's fire. Let me try it with shaved ice. I haven't tried it with shaved ice yet. Mom. Bill's going in town. It's like a milkshake. You guys, we're starving, so we. Let me get some. I would rate this this one about. A six out of Wait, wait, you gotta try the bottom though. The yeah, bottom's bottom the good the part. Hold on, we gotta. No, the bottom freaks me out. We gotta go all the way down here. Ew, I might oh. hit the bottom. I might oh, the what bottom. is this? Ew, the bottom freaks me out. Look at it, it literally is just like, I feel like a whole bunch of candy and stuff. So that thing right there looks like a maggot. Yeah, it does, and it freaks me in out. In real life. I'll let you taste test it. It's a bean. Oh, it's a bean? It's like a white bean. Oh. Oh, that's weird. Hold on, let me try this thing. Try that green thing. Looks like a gummy. It's okay. It tastes like beans. They have beans I in the bottom. Like, uh, I would give this one. I like the top part. I don't like the gummies. Ew. This is super unique. I'm gonna say. A six out of ten. This is like a, yeah, a solid six. Because the top part's amazing. It's not like, bad. Us being used to our American like steak and shake, like yeah. shakes and stuff, <laughs> going to that, it's definitely a lot different, yeah. but I still really like it. It's not bad. All right, so the first thing we're gonna do, I think Now we gotta get into the food. This, the big one first? Yeah, we'll wait for these. We're doing, I think we should wait. Really? Let's do big one last. Oh, this is Sisis. This is the one stuff. Oh, Sisig. Sis Hold on, let me, let me look Sisig. Sisig. It has an egg on it. What, what else does it have? Some. Hold on, let me. Pork or something? 
I'll get you the exact word. Oh my god, dude. This yeah, one looks so good. This looks so good. Is that an egg on top? Oh my god, yeah. yeah it's like a fried person, egg. But... Oh, a wait, fried have, egg with some, some lime. lime on it. Or lime. lime, sorry. Oh, guys, as you could tell, we're starving. And this food literally smells it amazing. It smells amazing. So it hoping... passes the smell test. Like, yeah. Filipino, you guys know how to how to make some good smelling food. We might be getting this, like I said, the punctuation wrong or the... Panam pronunciation. Pan yeah. we're, we're just bad. We you know literally, what? I'm going we, I haven't been in school in years. Like, I need to get a napkin, dude. Can we get some napkins. I'm going in. Let's try it. How is it? Is it good? It looks good. Oh my god. Mm. Alright, it's my turn. Mm. Go in. Get some egg in there. What kind of meat is this? Mm. This looks fire. Oh my god, it's so good. Hold on. You're gonna be in you're gonna be literally in heaven. Oh, that sour cream on it. Is that sour cream? I don't know, maybe it's their type of sauce. Oh, that's so good. Right? Oh, hold up. This changes the game. Mm. Hold mm. on. What is this? Can you look it up on the menu? Look at how good that looks. I'm telling you, it, it, it literally meat. tastes better than it looks, honestly. For me. Mmm. Mmm, like, that's oh, yeah. a ton of time. This is 100%. Oh my god. I think this is like cheese or something on it. We start off good. Because guys, this tastes amazing. What's this called again? Sissig. S-I-S-I-G. Sissig. Sissig. 10 out of 10. Mmm. Oh my god, if this is just the start of the food, I can't even imagine the rest. All right, we heard so many good reviews about Filipino food, and it's just like people just rave over it. But we don't have any like traditional. And if you guys like uh, this, comment down below different other places you guys want us to try, like Asian, what other there, Indian food, like anything, anything. Yeah, any anything. culture food that us right. Americans don't eat. I want to get into this because okay. this one looks good. This uh, is like the stuff. what do you call this? This one I was like so excited this for. This reminds me of like an egg this roll is... kind of thing. Lumpia. 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 And so. I was actually really excited when I saw this on the website. It I'm looks like, like, I have to try that. It comes with a sweet sauce. This looks like the sauce from like Panda Express that you get for your crab it's ragoon. It's just an egg roll. You know what I mean? It does, but it's probably the so much more The texture of it that. too. I thought it was going to be hard. It looks like a taki. Like yeah. a, what, what do you, is it? Is it not, not a taki? Taquito or whatever you call it? Oh my God. Is it good? Mmm. Mmm. Oh my god. Fire. It's like an egg roll. This is amazing. Whatever, what is it called again? Um, lumpia? Lump, lumpia, lumpia or lumpia. This is 10 out of 10. Wow. So far we got, that's for me, 10 out of 10. What do you rate it? 10 out of 10. I would eat the crap out of this. This would oh be like, god. this is like the like Filipino like taki. It is. You know what I mean? Like where you have like the stuffed beef in it, whatever this is. Wow. New Filipinos mm. go crazy. Like right, this is good sh Oh, yeah. Actually, so good. I'm eating that later. This all is right. all going. Oh, this is all going. This is all going bye bye. We're gonna literally be <laughs> so full. Let's try this one. We're saving the big one for oh. last because this one looks so What's good. This? What's this? Oh my god, this one has like what else chicken. Did you order? On it. Oh, Shrimp. this is. I think this is the barbecue chicken. This is the chicken. That's the beef. I think. Uh, it's the pork. Pork. Yeah, yeah. So they had barbecue chicken and no barbecue pork. Barbecue chicken, barbecue pork. Yeah, they had pork and chicken. We just ordered one of both because, like, why not? We wanted to try as much as we could. And also, sorry if you guys are hungry right now. I know this is not curing your appetite, but trust I love me, watching people eat. You better look up Filipino food because oh, I already saw on the menu. Guys. This looks so good. And guess how much this was? This was two dollars and seventy-five cents. Yeah, you guys. Cents. Just this is stuff is so like not expensive for like how good the quality Just think, is. For ten dollars, you I'm can get four of these. That'll be a whole dinner at a normal restaurant. It's like probably twenty bucks for this. Oh yeah. Mhm. Mm mhm. Mm it's just the quality. Oh my god. They had. They. I was looking when I was picking this up. She had like her mom back there. Might not even be the way to eat it, her, but her like vintage Filipino mom back there cooking oh up on the gosh. grill. I know she can make it good. Mm. Oh yeah, the switch. This one's probably better than that one, too. Oh, it's like a rib. I like the pulled pork better. This tastes like a rib. Switch. <laughs> you wanna switch again already? I like this way better. Mmm. Mm. Okay. <laughs> so the chicken's good, but this has more flavor to me. The pork. The pork has more flavor mm. than the chicken. They need to put more sauce on this. Yeah. I'm gonna rate this an eight out of ten. I'm gonna rate that one a nine out of ten. This, is a this one just needs more sauce, and it'd be ten out of ten. Hundred percent. The chicken mm. is so. It's like soft. All Wait, this is like so easy. Hundred percent. The quality in the in the food though is a one. Like I don't know where they get their livestock. And it's like, like but it's good. Good. They this must was, ship this in from Philippines. This was two seventy five each. Yeah, I know. So literally ten dollars would get you four of these almost. Wow. Eleven dollars. Oh my god, guys, we're eating good. 
Like, this is amazing. And do I know what the good part is? This is filling food. Like this right here, even though it doesn't seem like a lot. Oh, that would fill you up. That would fill me up. Mm -hmm. Like, I, I, I want to eat that again, Loki. Oh my gosh, this is just Absolutely, guys, already from the start, this is amazing. So, like, even from the start, getting it in the car and smelling it. That I mean, was just barbecue pork, and this is chicken. Barbecue chicken. Barbecue chicken, so that's what we just ate. So I definitely think the pork is a... I'm gonna rate it 10 out of 10. I feel like all this That's stuff is so good, good because I could eat it every day. Oh, what is this? I was so confused well, when I went on the website and I saw these. Pluto. What? Pluto. It might be honestly. Pluto. Pluto, guys. This is the Pluto. lost planet. Pluto. So, I don't know what the, this might be it a dessert. It looks like, you know what it looks like? It looks like, um. Like a cupcake with no frosting no, on it. No, no. Like, um, those egg white, egg whites. For the dessert? It smells like dough. Like straight up dough. Let's try it. Smells it smells like good. it smells like pizza dough before you make it in the oven. Ooh. That smells like a cupcake. I wanna just Oh, hold up. This might be really good actually. You're going in for it like that. I'm gonna I'm gonna take a bite. Mmm, might be a cornbread. It does. This is identical to American cornbread. Oh my god. I think cornbread's made in America. Honestly, <laughs> I was kinda of, like looking at it, I was like, ew, kind of me of egg whites. I'm not a big egg person. What's that thing in the middle though? It looks like dried up butter. I just ate it. Is it good? It doesn't have flavor. Oh, really? Mm hmm Guys, This is fire. Wow. Oh. This is basically like a cupcake without frosting on it or cornbread without corn in it. Yeah. I would rate this like an 8 out of 10. It's like a dessert, but it's like not a dessert. See, even though it doesn't really have a lot of flavor, the flavor that it does have is like really good. Mm -hmm. Probably like just from the oils that they use. There's literally like no other flavor in it except what you see right here. Wow. So what do you rate it? I can see why people get addicted. Did you rate it yet? It's just like the bread of the Philippines. You know what I mean? I don't know. What did you rate that? You seem like you like it. I'm going 9.5. 9. Okay. 9.5. Oh, wow, 9.5. You're picking it, you're putting that. This is better than the Do you want to know why? Because I'm used to a lot of like sugar on a dessert or whatever you call it. And that it doesn't have like, I feel like it needs to be a little sweeter to get to 10. But 9.5 is still really, really, really generous because that it's max <laughs> it's oh really God. good you guys you this i would definitely recommend I'm, and at the end of this video we're going to be telling you our favorite out of all of these i can't even pick honestly I'm, about to say that. I'm, I'm between these everything. two this is probably more of an appetizer but like we got the finale right here and this is just a mixture of this everything this is the pan kit pan sit pan kit P -A -N -C -I -T. P-A-N-C-I-T. Pan kit. So it looks like it's got Pan -kit. like noodles and oh, oh my, my gosh, gosh, you guys. I'm gonna do a reveal for you guys. Look at this, ready? Ah, that looks so good. <laughs> hey guys, we have shrimp on this, chicken on it. There's green beans, carrot, like some noodles. I don't even know what this is. What is this? It looks like it looks brown like, sugar. Um, yeah, it looks like brown sugar or crushed up, crushed like, up like cookie. Crushed up like breadcrumbs. Yeah, breadcrumbs. That's Honestly, what it looks like. Is. Oh my gosh. So guys. they have like these mini noodles, but also. Put this down, babe. Also, I'll they have these big noodles. I'll so to eat. Wait, we're about to smack on this. I want to see how this is. Let's make the lime, the lime all oh, over. Yeah, you got to get lime everywhere. Look at these cute little limes. This is how you know that they are traditional. These limes, they grew on their own. That's why they're so tiny. That's why they're also yellow. If they bought a lime from the store, they would be like this big because they're like genetically mutated. But I bet you they grew these out of their own farm or they know someone that has a farm that naturally grows. I feel like this is going to be your favorite because like looking at it, it probably wouldn't be my favorite. No, this looks fire. But it looks I'm, good. I'm like, really I, gonna I demolish can't, this. I can't be like, oh, wait, I'm a, a bite. Should we get everything in at once? I'll do the shrimp, you do the chicken, okay? Make sure to get like the vegetables in there too. Ready? Cheers. Okay. Mmm. <laughs> you like it? No, I need more. Hold on. That is fire. I'm not even gonna cap. That is so good. This is 10 out of 10 for me. I will say. I'm, I'm rating it everything 10 good. out of 10, but this, this is, is definitely not 10 out of 10. What? Mm -hmm. Hold on, maybe you don't, maybe we need to try it with this stuff. I don't Come on, even I know need what this, this bite. Is. This bite looks like a good bite. Whoever's watching this video, if you know what this stuff is, let us know because it didn't come with like a description on what is inside here. But I'm guessing you just kind of throw it over. I'm definitely right? drug thrown. Is that what you do? I feel like you might need it. Need it with it. Yeah. yeah try it with the try it with the breadcrumb. We're just gonna call them breadcrumbs for now. It's pretty good, right? Adds a little crunch. Mm -hmm. Okay, so. You don't like it? No, I do. I think it's an eight out of ten. Okay. I think it's awesome. I'm just mm. like, 
I wouldn't choose that first. Like mm. I, I definitely like the. Um, oh wow, this is the, so good. The sisig. The this best. one. Yeah, out of these two. Did you like the egg in here? I thought it was actually kind of good. I think maybe I don't know if it's because I was starving or what. I'm telling you right now, the food in America. I feel like cannot compare to food in other countries because like America is the one of the most like unnatural mm -hmm. processed food like country I feel like in the world. So the fact that like the people that I bought this from, I bet you they grow all of this naturally and they don't use any preservatives or like growth hormones that America. We might be wrong about that, but I might be wrong. Yeah. Like this could just be a knockoff. <laughs> there might be people in the comments being like, "Yo, that's not that's not it," but like. From what she told me, like she knew what she was talking about. Yeah. Okay, so I think my all time favorite are these. The, oh, um, this is so good. The lumpia. The lumpia? Lumpia? Oh, I thought you ate all of them. I was like, <laughs> save me one. Yeah, these are fire. Oh Loki. These I'm are probably another one. These are probably my favorite appetizer. I'm guessing this is an appetizer. This is my favorite appetizer. It's hard to pick between these two, but I this. Like this is so you. This would fill me up. This I would is order so this. Bill. I would order this if I wasn't feeling as hungry, but like, I don't know. I like this. You like that one better? This is so good, but this has more flavor, low key. Yeah, that mm. one does. But this one just smacks, like, it's way different. Has like five different noodles in it. I don't even know what my favorite one. I would say, like, I don't know. They're all so good. I guys. probably wouldn't order this unless I was like walking around like a fair. You know what I mean? pork is a good one. Okay. Like walking around a fair. Like, this is perfect if you're like, Mm. At Six Flags, you know, mm -hmm. and you just want like a walk and a walk and eat snack. I'm sorry, my favorite is this one, lumpia. That's I've appetizer. been seeing so many people when they would eat these, eat them on camera, and I'm like, I gotta try this when we do Isn't it. Isn't that an appetizer though? You said your favorite meal was this. Yeah, I would say the um, sisig. It's funny, I'm already full, and we already we still have we barely even made a dent. Like I everything know. that we've been eating, we took like three bites out of. So I think all around Filipino from what I taste on the food side, 10 out of 10. Oh, 100%. The ice cream was amazing. I'm a little like iffy I don't think I would buy about the again. beans. There were beans yeah, in the bottom. I don't think I would ask for none of that stuff on the, the bottom. The ice cream was fire though. I can I can probably tell that the ice cream is like amazing. But all around, 10 out of 10. food is amazing. 10 out of 10. I would never even have guessed. We have never had Filipino, like traditional Filipino oh, that's food my first time. up until now. Maybe we have in the past and we never knew we were eating it. But, but like, like what this... place in Chicago, Illinois is going to have traditional Filipino food? They probably do. I mean, there are probably some like little they definitely places that do. have, but we've never like went out. And yeah, we never tried any like different culture it, yeah. foods, which I want to keep doing videos like these because I feel like it's fun. Like I get to taste test and a lot of you guys who are Filipino love to see us Americans trying food like this and so, getting our reaction comment down below what we should try next and i also want you guys to comment down below where you are from okay what country you are from or if you're in the u.s and if you're filipino comment what state yeah and, I just and if you see. are filipino comment down below what is your favorite filipino meal like, yeah what is like your favorite? tell us if we did it right like did we order the right stuff the woman there said that we did a good job ordering just off the phone like looking at the menu but like is there anything that we should have tried or is there anything here that's like yeah that that shit's awesome because yep. everything here was amazing. It was amazing. Literally my favorite. But guys, I hope you enjoyed this video. And I'm throwing in the towel. I'm, I'm full. We're going to keep eating and <laughs> smack it on this. It's funny because we're on a diet too. Yeah, I know. This is this all bad. This is so good. It's so good. It was worth it. Like, honestly, now we can say we tried Filipino food. I know. We did it. It's fun. Woo! <laughs> <laughs> all right, guys. We'll see you in the next video. But, but until, until then, then peace. Love, love you guys. guys.